This video is proudly sponsored by New Type. Tools, accessories, model kits, these guys have it. Hop over to NewTypesHQ.com and use promo code UTAKABUTTER for 10% off on your next purchase. Hey, what's going on my dudes and dudettes and welcome back to a two-parter series of this fantastic bill from the good folks from Bandai Japan. So why don't we get started with the 1-100 scale Master Grade 00XN Riser. And without further ado, let's get to it. Hello and welcome back my dudes and dudes to a two-parter series of this amazing build from the good folks from Bandai. And if this is your first time to this YouTube channel, welcome. So in this video, we're going to be tackling all three of the weapon attachments for this mobile suit. Everything down to the XN unit, to the XN 00 Gundam, and the 00 XN Riser. As you can clearly see here by the first side of the box art, this mobile suit is incredible. I wish I had the opportunity to build a perfect grade, but I will handle with the mass grade just as well. Now, in this particular part, we're going to see in the box art, we're going to get a nice front and back side of this mobile suit with the unit attached to them. And as you can clearly see here at the very bottom, it actually requires an action base to keep it upright. Probably has something to do with weight distribution. But probably the most magical thing about this model kit, it comes with really cool little features such as dry transfers, one LED unit for the head, and a handful of sticker decals and traditional water slide decals, which is really cool, but it's only targeted for specific parts of this mobile suit. So we're going to be really going to tackle the weapon accessories first. As for the other side of the boxer, you get a good glimpse of how the weapon accessories look when it's fully combined and in a dynamic action pose, while at the same time getting a nice front and back side of the mobile suit when it's in the XN00 Gundam form. So, enough about that, what's inside the box? As always, you're a have the group with not one, but two instruction manuals. That's what's kind of weird about this particular model kit, and that's the reason why I wanted to do a two-parter. So, instead of attacking the first one, we're going to be doing the first part of the weapon attachments. As for the first page, we're going to get a nice representation of the first batches of runners for this unique model kit, and in the lower right-hand corner, we're going to get a small glimpse of what we can expect for water slide decals, which is great. As for the whole entire manual, it's pretty straightforward and not too complex to put this guy together. So. The wonderful thing about this manual, it actually encourages you to build this first, so that's exactly what we're going to do. As for the last page, it gives you a small tutorial on how to apply the water slide decals, a brief introduction on how to apply the water slide decals to a designated spot, and only two unique colors for this mobile suit if you want to do some custom painting, which is not bad, I'm going to be doing that effect as well. As for the first runners, we're going to get a small glimpse of two unique color systems if you choose to go with a traditional orange cockpit or the clear one, which is kind of weird but it's totally fine. Two clear pieces for the GN condensers, a handful of dry transfer stickers and water slide decals, the sword, which is absolutely this beautiful emerald green, a good assortment of blue pieces which are going to be primarily for the mobile suit itself, a handful of pink pieces for the weapon effects, and at the same time more dynamic blue pieces, more white pieces for the sword, a handful of gray pieces for the inner parts of the sword, and and the blades, while at the same time getting a glimpse of the action base that you're going to need to make this guy stand upright. More gray pieces for the swords, and to wrap things up in a nice little bow, we're going to get the last remaining white pieces for the weapon accessories. As for the remaining runners, I'm going to leave that for another video for the next build. So instead of building this guy piece by piece, I've taken the time to cut out every single piece of the runner, sanding it down, polish it out to the point where I get all the nubs out, and get these guys ready for prime time painting. Let's get started, shall we? Just 
All right, my dudes and dudettes, that concludes part one of this incredible build from the good folks from Bendai. And if you guys want to stay up to date and see more content like this, please like, share, and subscribe to Otaka Builder and stay up to date for more content coming in the next weeks to come. But until then, I will see you dudes and dudettes on the next video. Take care.